Hi, I'm Dana and today I really want to talk about New Year's and New Year resolutions and the pressure that we all have on ourselves to do stuff and change our routines and change habits and it's all kind of a lot in my opinion. So I wanted to share my New Year's resolutions a little. I haven't fully planned them properly yet, I've just got a few things in mind and I find that that's a better way to go about it for me. You know, I've had the years where I've been like, I've got my new bullet journal, I'm going to be so organised this year, I'm going to write my New Year's resolutions at the front of it. They're still hanging around, I didn't finish them, I didn't do them. Maybe I lasted a month, maybe two. I didn't get very far. So I'm trying a new way of doing things and I thought I'd just chat about it, chat about the pressure that we all put on ourselves and hopefully make some people feel a little bit better make myself feel a little bit better too. So I'll give you a quick rundown of my new year resolutions and then we can get into it a little. So first and foremost, I wanna maintain and strengthen the relationships I have. Those are friendships, partners that I've got, you know, the whole, all the people in my life that I love and want to keep around. I'd like to really show them that I love them and make sure that they're getting enough time and attention and support and everything else off me this year. And um, you know, cause last year I met new people, I have, a grand total of two new people in my life and I just want to make sure that I'm being the best friend and the best partner and the best person that I can be towards them and obviously that's something I'm already striving for I'm not like I'm gonna wait till January 1st and then be a good person I'm already trying to do those things but I'm gonna take it into the new year with me as well I would also like to get some sort of paying job of some description god knows what god knows what I'd be able to actually keep up with and not completely burn out with but that's not what this video is about. I want to find some way to make a little bit of extra money and be able to save up a little bit. I I want to move house. <laughs> I really, really want to move house. I don't feel like the landlord's going to fix the many, many issues that we have. I'm really tired of it. And I want to move house. But I need a good amount of money saved to do that. So I'd really like to find a paying job of some description. And maybe move house? Maybe move house? maybe fix some of the stuff myself I don't know I don't love my living situation right now in regards to the house yeah I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm bloody saving money for because there's no chance I'm gonna save up enough to get a deposit to buy a house like that's not happening but I would like to just feel a little bit more secure and feel like I've got a nice home and finally I want to find some new comfort zones a little bit of a unique one I guess I know that, you know, we talk all the time about like pushing yourself and stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing this and doing that. I don't want to spend my entire life being uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't want to spend time being uncomfortable if I don't need to be. I like my comfort zones. However, I would like to extend them a little bit. You know, I'd like to be more comfortable doing more things. And again, it's something that I am already working on because I don't agree at all with this whole like January 1st, I'm doing this. We're gonna go into that in a sec. But I don't agree with that. So I've I've been trying to like implement things as I think of them and be like, okay, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z to try and implement it into my daily life already. I've gotten the train by myself a few times recently, which I, I know shouldn't be a big deal for a 24 year old, but I hate traveling on my own. So I've gotten the train on my own a few times recently. That's been great. I, I wanna go for coffee on my own. That's something that I haven't done since I was in high school. And the idea sort of petrifies me now. So I'm hoping that maybe like, I don't know, I need to do it in a way that I'll be like comfortable still. Because otherwise I'm not going to do it. That's a big thing for me. So I think I'm going to like go for coffee when I'm going to meet up with my girlfriend. Or I'll like go into town a little early and get coffee on my own and then go meet up with her. Something like that. But you know, I just want to step out of my comfort zones into new comfort zones. I don't want to step out into like the wild unknown where I'm going to have a panic attack. I just want to be more comfortable doing more things. <laughs> that was such a long explanation for when it could have just been that last sentence there. But yeah, they're basically my New Year's resolutions. I'm filming this a good while away from New Year because I want to just not have to do anything over Christmas and New Year. So I want everything to be like scheduled to go up and that. So I might have thought of more by the time New Year actually rolls around. But they're what I've got for now. <laughs> I would really like to hear what your New Year's resolutions are. But for now, I'm gonna talk about why I think they're bullshit. <laughs> no, okay, so first of all for me, like I say, this will be coming at you from an autistic perspective. And my perspective on things is that I can't wake up on January 1st and change my routine. <laughs> you know, the only time I've ever done that and succeeded was when I went vegan overnight and I just woke up and I was like, not eating animal products, I've had enough. 
And you know, that's a very different thing to being like, I'm gonna work out every morning, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm gonna completely step out of my comfort zone and start doing these mad crazy things. No, I'm not. And if I do, it's not gonna last very long. I think everyone needs some degree of routine, like neurotypicals, neurodivergent people, anyone in between. I think everyone needs some degree of a routine. And whether you're neurotypical or neurodivergent, so many of us, like myself included, have done this whole like January 1st, I'm gonna be eating healthy, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna be like the pinnacle of human existence. And we're just not, are we? You can't wake up and just change your whole life overnight like that. It's not going to work. It's so far out of routine and so far out of habit and just no one's going to be able to manage it. I don't know a single person that I think, yeah, they'd be able to do that. You know, I know people that could probably wake up and be like, from now on, I'm going to the gym. Or from now on, I'm going to eat really healthily. I don't know anyone that can do all these multiple things that we expect ourselves to do because of a New Year's resolution. And also, I feel like so many of us hold on to them through the year. Like, I've known people that like in March are like, oh, come New Year, I'm gonna get so healthy. Or come New Year, I'm gonna start like learning about this. I'm gonna learn this new language. I'm gonna read this book. And I don't say it to them because it's not up to me to fucking question people in real life. But I will lay to you now, why not now? Why at New Year? Why, why is January 1st such the big thing? You know, I get it to some degree because I, I do personally like to start new things. On a Monday, I'm like, that's the start of the week. That's when I'll begin something. And I like that. But there's a Monday every week, you know? January 1st doesn't come around that often. So why are you waiting for that? Like, I think it's fantastic that we use New Year's resolutions to try and improve our lives and improve ourselves as people and be a better contributor to the world around us and whatever else. But also, I think that we should just do it then, you know? Just do it. You know, whether it's the really common ones like losing weight or getting healthy or working out more or writing more or getting a full eight hours of sleep or being kinder to the people around you, whatever it is, you can just start that now. You can take the baby steps towards it now. You know, are you really gonna wait until January 1st so that you like eat a salad? You could get a salad for lunch today and you could finish it off with a piece of chocolate cake. Baby steps, you know? Welcoming yourself into something and easing yourself into it and being like, oh, I've done this step, so now I can do this step. Oh, I've done that step, now I can do this step. I feel that that's how you succeed at things and that's how you're able to build up to do the big things. Big things don't just happen. Rome wasn't built in a day. And yet every year we're bombarded with like adverts and, and videos like this and, and blog posts and, and Pinterest articles and everything else, you know, all the tweets and the Instagram posts and everything else about like all these things that they're going to change for new year, new year, new me. And it's just so unsustainable. And it's such, for me at least, it's been such a surefire way to make sure I'm depressed as heck by like January 10th when everything's falling apart. I don't know if everyone ends up like this. January is already a sucky, sucky month for me. My boyfriend gets paid from work early, which means that we start spending money early. I've already spent all my money on Christmas presents and whatever else. January is a shit month. It's a shit, 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 shit month. It's a really shitty time. The last thing I need is to feel like I'm a failure based on something that I set for myself anyway. Especially if I've set it, like feeling under pressure to have something down as a new year resolution because everyone else is doing it. So it's gotta be new year, new me, and I need to change everything about who I am. And it's so stressful for absolutely no bloody payoff. I think I've just realized lately, and again, this could just be a me thing. It might just be a me thing, but I've realized that working on things is the push, you know? Oh, how am I trying to phrase this? I just feel like I've realised lately that the work that you put in is what gets you to the final destination, you know? And for a long time I saw that as like, well, I'm, I'm gonna lose weight, that's gonna be my goal this year. So I need to be eating healthy, I need to exercise, I need to do this, I need to do that, and ooh, a juice cleanse. When in reality, it's the work that you put in every day that's gonna build up to that goal, you know? It's choosing to have a healthier lunch, it's choosing to have a little bit less cake than you normally would. You know, I don't believe in like diets and restrictions. I believe in slowly changing your health. Uh, I believe in slowly changing your lifestyle to be a healthier one. That's how I lost weight. But it's, it's that everyday work 
that builds the final product, you know, and it's the most obvious in weight loss because you do every single day to eventually get to the goal weight or whatever, which I also think is bullshit. You shouldn't have a goal weight. Just stop losing weight when you feel good. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like we so often forget that it is the work that we put in every single day. You know, like I've done a lot of yoga this year, which <laughs> I know you wouldn't think looking at me, but I'm a yoga person. I'm a yogi. I've done a lot of yoga. But it was 10 times more difficult at the start, you know, towards the start of this year, I was doing yoga maybe like twice a week, three times a week if I was lucky. But putting that work in and doing it three times a week, built it up to four, built it up to five. And now it's relatively rare that I actually miss a day because I put the work in to build myself up and to learn to enjoy it and to really appreciate what I'm doing for myself in that time. And that makes me want to do it every day because I know I'll feel good. If I'd stopped putting that work in every day, I'd have stopped doing yoga at all. So it really is taking like those steps each time you want to do a thing to get to the final destination. But New Year's resolutions, in my opinion, just push us into, you need to get to the final point now. And you know, I'm not there yet. I've got to work up to that. I've got to build. I've got to grow. <laughs> that last part's a bit everywhere, but I, I hope you get what I mean by it, you know? It can feel like the work that we're doing and ourselves and our lives and whatever else, you know, when you're doing it day after day after day, it can feel just really tiring and useless. And that's, maybe you need a break from it. Maybe you need to take a day off. Maybe you need to take a week off. It, you know, consistency isn't absolutely the be all and end all. Sometimes you need a break. But putting that work in every day will be worth it in the end. It will have the payoff that you deserve and want to receive in the way that just pushing yourself to try and get to the end goal isn't gonna, it ain't gonna do it. You know, life is long. Like, <laughs> I know it's easy to say at 24, but life seems really, really, really long. And we've all, regardless of how old you are, we've all got time to build and grow on ourselves and, you know, get better at stuff. We don't need to push it to happen overnight. We've got time to just relax into ourselves and figure out what we're doing and have a good time while we learn all this shit and get ourselves together. Because, like, frankly, what's the point in fucking being alive if you're not having a good time? Like, there's no point in us being here on this fucking rock hurtling through space. So we may as well enjoy it while we are. <laughs> that went to a deeper place than expected. But whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you're having a lovely morning, evening, day, afternoon, week, month, year. And a very, very happy new year. I hope that 2022 treats us better than the last couple of years have. Whoever you are in particular, thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this to some degree. I'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts and whatever else in the comments below. I hope you have had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate and I hope you have a fantastic new year. And I'll see you again in a few days.